morning to you. Top of the morning to you, Diesel. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning. We are in Uppsala, Ontario. Spelt like it sounds. Uppsala. Uppsala. I don't know why they called it that. I don't know how they come up with these names out here, but it's just what it is. It is what it is. So, Diesel. How you doing? <laughs> There's another dog barking here somewhere and he's just going nuts. He's like, that's what happens if I take him out to do his business and there's another dog, he totally forgets what he had to do. Doesn't matter how bad he had to go, totally forgets what he had to do. But that's all right, because today we're getting home. We're about five and a half hours. Well, actually, no. Probably about six and a half hours from home because we're in Northern Ontario. We can only go 90 kilometers an hour, right? Oh. Just waking up here. Today's gonna be a good day. Look how beautiful this day is. Well, now I'm in the shade. But you saw it back there, right? You can see it behind me. Look how beautiful this day is. We're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna be happy. Happiness is a choice. And who couldn't be happy being on the road? Seriously. So let's do just that. Let's get on the road. All right, just leaving Uppsala, Uppsala, U P S A L A, Uppsala. Ontario. We're headed west toward Manitoba. We're about ah, four and a half hours from the Manitoba border, six hours from destination. Looks like I'm gonna have to go home because I'm, I'll be out of hours, so dispatch knows that. And I uh, guess we'll work something out when I get there later. Or they'll get back to me later what they want me to do. Other than that, let's just focus on getting there right now. It's a beautiful day to be driving. Look at this. Beautiful. Ignis, Ontario. I G N A G E. Ignis. Nice little town you got going on here. Very nice. We are still five hours at least, five and a half maybe, from the yard where we're headed. Still no idea what I'm doing. For my next load, as I do not have cell signal here. Oh wait, yes I do. Apparently I do. Okay. I'll have to pull over soon and see if there's any messages. My satellite isn't lit up, so they haven't sent me a satellite, but I'm sure they're working hard on something. Uh, they say they got quite a few drivers at home right now trying to get out, so I'm hoping I won't get stuck there for a while. But that's part of trucking, you know. I'm not the only one that needs a load. That's what some drivers forget. They uh, demand this, they demand that. But they forget they're not the only ones who need work. All right, so we're coming up to Husky here and the Husky flag is at half mass. You see that on the right? Or half staff, whatever you call it. Why is it at half staff? What happened? What happened? So we just stopped at the Husky here for a quick coffee. Can't figure out why their flag is at half mass over there. It's sort of like behind the the building. Not a very good flag either. They should probably get that replaced, but whatever. You can tell what it is. I'm trying to think, what happened? What happened? Do I know what happened? I've been listening to the news all day, but it's been American news, so I don't know if something happened in Canada or not. You know, Canada needs a CNN, something like that. We have CBC. I wonder if they have an XM radio station. They probably have a Canadian news radio station. I just haven't found it yet. If you guys know what uh, XM, Sirius XM radio station, uh, satellite radio, uh, is Canadian news, let me know so I can get the scoop on both countries, not just one. Okay, Diesel, 
You want to go home? This is our first actual time going home to our new house. Going home from a trip. Ready to go home? I'm ready to get moving, man. It's hot in here. Yeah, it is pretty hot. Last night it went down pretty cool. I made good use of my uh, bunk heater and whatnot. It went almost down to freezing last night. It's supposed to go down to freezing, almost down to freezing, uh, every night now. This week. I was told I need to get potato bags to cover my trees in my yard. They're new baby trees. Or bushes or shrubs or whatever they are. Someone, the old owner told me to put potato bags over them. I gotta figure out where to get potato bags. around for uh, a 
a lawnmower and snowblower. And plus, I just want to have some time to just sit and do nothing at home, you know what I mean? Well, we dropped our trailer at the yard and we're headed home. We're just uh, creeping through Steinbach here right now. I'm gonna stop at Subway, but I gotta park on this side of the street. So I'm gonna park over here. Two hour parking. Well, it's past 6 p.m. though. Ha! I can park here as long as I want. And uh, yeah, so Subway is right over there by that clock tower. There's a Subway right around there. I'm gonna get some sub. Actually, you know what? Oh, I decided I wasn't gonna get Subway. I'm gonna get Subway tomorrow. That's right, that's what I decided. Oh man, I need to learn to communicate with myself better, you know? Hey Diesel, should've reminded me. <laughs> so yeah, I got hamburgers and fries at home. We're gonna have hamburgers and fries tonight. Get Subway tomorrow. All right, let's get back on the road here. Put you back on there. Signal my intentions to the world. I'm coming this way. Okay. So yeah, this is Steinbeck. This is uh, sort of the hub of Southeast Manitoba. That's the new credit union coming up on the left there. Steinbeck Credit Union. It's about time they redo that. <laughs> the old one was kind of outdated. Just saying, just saying. This is the Steinbach Fire Department. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. I figured it was worth a mention. It's a very nice building. I remember when they had the old building and I remember when they built this building. Very proud of our new fire station. Why are you so zoomed in on me? It's very nice, very nice. I don't know if I would consider Steinbeck my home city, but it sort of feels like my home city. This is uh, where people of my ethnic heritage and background settled. It's a Mennonite settlement. We're all just Canadians now. I mean, now we're just normal. But way, way back in the beginning, this is where my people settled, or some of them. Some of them settled in Winkler, some of them settled here. And this is sort of the area I grew up in, sort of around this area and uh, we spent a lot of time in Steinbeck. This is also where my grandparents lived and uh, most of my family, I have a lot of family who lives around here so it feels like home. So that sort of feels like my home fire station. And that's my redneck buddy. Did you see him? No idea who it was but he's my friend. Man this train is just giving her. Look at that thing go. Just a giving her. Wow. My window's so dirty. It's Sometimes I thought I think it'd be fun to drive one of these things. How long is this thing? It's just a normal train, I guess. I had some friends come out from Ireland once, and uh, they thought it was just ridiculous how long our trains were here. All right, we made it home. We made it home. Hello, home. Oh, it's good to be home. Diesel. How you doing, man? Why are you sitting there so weird? Come over here. What'd you do? Why do you look so guilty? Hmm? Why do you look so guilty? Oh well, whatever. So, it's good to be home. Oh, well, this is the first time I actually came home to this house from a trip. Feels pretty good. You guys wanna go in circles? I like this stick thing that I got. I'm gonna show you in a mirror what I'm using. One of you sent this to me. And I'm putting it to use. See? It's this long stick thing. See it? See, I'm holding it way down here. 
and I can see what I'm recording. So yeah, why are you guys in my bedroom? Get out of my bedroom, guys. Creepy. Stalks me into my bedroom like that. So I know that I gave you guys a house tour already, and uh, I'm not gonna give you another one, because I already did it. Uh, but I forgot to mention, there is no basement. A lot of you have been asking, Josh, what about the basement? What about the basement? There is no basement. There's no basement, and there's no crawl space. Just one floor, that's it. This is it, just one floor. Sort of like a, an apartment. Sort of, or a condo almost. So it's not that big. It's just very well laid out. Whoever built it knew what they were doing and they put a very good layout to make it seem a lot bigger than it is. Uh, but the reason why there's no basement or crawl space is because there isn't. <laughs> were you guys expecting some kind of like technical response or answer? Like, yeah, I don't know why there's no, there's, there's it's just one floor. It's right on, uh, like the house is just on the ground on its own. It's not obviously on the ground as it would be all lopsided then, but it's on like, what you might call it, piles or whatever? I don't know, not piles, it's meant. It's there, that's all that matters. So we're gonna get to work here on our fancy laptop, our new one, and get to uploading some videos because I'm a little bit behind. But you guys never knew that because my videos are a week behind, right? Oh, okay, my lawn needs to be mowed too. I'm not even gonna show you guys, you guys believe me. All right, let's start doing some laundry. That's pretty much all that I have time for. I come home, I do laundry, I make videos, I go back on the road. That's my life. <laughs> if you guys just joined my channel recently and uh, you saw how much time I had off when I was uh, moving, that's not normal. <laughs> Usually I come home, like I said, do laundry, eat, get back on the road. So now it is Tuesday evening. We are home till, no, it's Monday evening. Get it right. We are home till uh, Wednesday morning. Just enough to reset my logbooks. I need 36 hours consecutive off to reset my logbooks legally here in Canada. So well, that's that. I know a lot of you don't like it when I walk around so much. There's one or two of you who are like, stop moving around. This is for you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, another one or two of you had a, another concern about the furnace being in the garage, rightly so. They say where they're from, it's illegal to have the furnace in the garage because you don't want, you know, the fumes from the vehicles getting into the furnace and then being spread throughout the house, right? Well, no worries because the intake of my furnace comes from outside. It is not taking fumes out of my garage here from my vehicles and dispersing it out throughout my house. That would not be safe. You would die from carbon, or have a chance of dying from carbon monoxide poisoning. Isn't that right, Diesel? My phone is ringing. I have a phone. He's a daddy. Who's calling? Who's calling? That was my Faja. My Faja. You know what I found that's pretty cool? You know how I uh, told you this, this stove is like weird to me, right? Because it doesn't have an exhaust fan up here. No, no. It's got an exhaust fan in there, and so it sucks all the smoke, you see that, and it goes in there. And I've always been wondering, where does it go? It gets blown out right there. Can you see the smoke coming out from the burgers? Probably not, no. Nah. But that's where it comes out, so it blows it right outside. Huh. Cool. Are you coming, Diesel? Are you coming? Are you just gonna stand there like a boss, or what? Come on. I got burgers on the grill, come on. Hey, come on. You're back in the house there, young man. Good boy. He listens so well. I hope my next dog is as good as him. Oh, I'll probably get a new, I will actually get my second dog before he passes away. Oh, probably, I don't know yet. A couple of years, maybe a year, who knows, but I will be getting another dog eventually. So that's where this goes. Well, we're gonna end the day here. I'm still unpacking. It never ends. It's never going to end, is it? Uh, mostly what I've done is I've moved most of the boxes to these rooms. There's one there. There's all my instruments and stuff in here. Yes, I play music. Yes, I play drums. I love drums. And here's my girly room, because it's pink. 
Got all these boxes in here yet. <laughs> I hate unpacking. I like unpacking because it's fun putting stuff everywhere and figuring out where everything's gonna go and getting it all organized. And I love how the house is after you unpack because everything is exactly where you want it, right? And then a month goes by. And then two months go by. And then three, and four, five, six, and suddenly you realize your house is chaos again. Yeah, so, oh well. Well, there's my printer. Hey, I was looking for you. All right. Oh, I was looking for this thing too. Oh, I need this in my truck so that my computer doesn't fry again. Oh. Cause the big problem why my hard drive went kaput was my uh, computer overheated too many times. That's my fault, I know, it's my fault. Bad truck of trash. Uh, so the hard drive is actually fried. There is no going back to get the data. There is no person on this planet who can get the data off of there. I know a lot of you are trying to offer me advice and I appreciate that. But I went to the professionals already. And the, the disc is destroyed. So whatever, I'm fine. I got a new computer over there anyways. See that? And I got fries, you want some fries? Yeah, or, oh, we just ordered some new YouTube gear. It's gonna be here in a little while, next time I'm home. I ordered a hat that says YouTube on it. Uh, three t-shirts. I don't know why, because winter's coming. Whatever. Ordered a sweatshirt, because winter's coming. Uh, some YouTube stickers, and a YouTube leash that lights up. Check this out, check this out. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's not gonna give me... Anyways, it's a dog leash, and it lights up, and it says YouTube on it. So we're going all YouTube on you, because that's what I am. I am a YouTuber. We will talk to you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America. Are you going to be there? Because I'm going to be there.